एंड ऑफ दो साल हमको ये पी एस का लॉन्च करने का प्लान है As ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organisation plans to launch SSLV. It's building a brand new second rocket launch port. The new launch port is situated at a geographically advantageous location in Tamil Nadu's Kulla Sekara Patinam. The facility costs a whopping rupees nine eighty six crores. The new launch port is primarily needed to ensure ISRO's first launch port, Satish Dhawan Space Centre. In Sri Hari Kota isn't overburdened. The first launch port will also be available for India's big ticket missions to the Moon, Venus, and human flight mission the Gaganyaan. But with the government's recent policy opening doors to private players, an increase in commercial launches are certain. So to keep up with the increasing demand for commercial launches, ISRO is constructing a second launch port. The new launch port will facilitate dedicated launch infrastructure for all the on-demand commercial launches. So the new facility will focus on smaller satellite launches, while the existing ones in Sri Hari Kota handles heavier missions. This move ensures better efficiency and prevents overburdening of the existing launch site. The new launch port offers a strategic advantage due to its coastal location and proximity to the equator. This means shorter launch trajectories and more fuel efficiency. Perfect for small satellite launches. Notably, both the launch ports are located in southern India near the equator. ISRO's SSLV design to lift off smaller payloads will pave the way for more affordable and accessible space missions. The Tamil Nadu government has completed the acquisition of over 2000 acres of land, which has now been handed over to ISRO. With construction underway and completion expected in about 2 years, this new launch port will be able to handle around 20 to 30 launches annually. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.